When I bleed from this old stained heart, I'm gonna whisper the truth. There's no more need for this drawn out farce. I'm gonna level with you. It's never going up, it's coming down. Trouble I'm bound Trouble I'm bound, indeed. Hello! Tis I, everything is a lie. Lisa. Uh, why am I here? What am I doing? Firstly, that was Lincoln McKinnon and the wrecking train. I will leave the link at the end. Uh, I sincerely hope by showing you that and the rest of it as we will see that you go and watch the video and you give Lincoln a thumbs up. Uh, that clip won country music, sorry, Western Australian country music video of the year and Lincoln I met uh, last year on in September, on the 14th of September, he gave me permission to use this probably quite naively because he doesn't understand how YouTube vilifies truthers but he gave me permission and I'm using it and I hope that it gets him a lot of likes for him doing that. It's an incredible clip. Um, he made it himself obviously with assistance but um, impressive young man, really impressive. So why am I here today? I never had a proper intro. Um, 18 months ago when I started um, making mud flood videos purely out of shock more than anything um, from what I was finding, uh, I never probably introduced myself and I kind of went, mm, when I get to about 150 subscribers, I'll do something about it. That was ages ago. Um, and apologies for my lack there, but I'm catching you up now. So in the interest of integrity and authenticity, this is me, Lisa. Um, I prefer to be behind the camera. This is very strange for me, but I'm doing it with a cat interrupting. I have to say, I feel guided to be here. I felt guided when I started making videos. Um, I'll talk more about that as we go along. My life is coded. Um, Matt McKinley from Quantum of Conscience often talks about that. Uh, and, you know, we see it all the time with the Masonic things. The 33. The 33 is everywhere in my life too. Um... It's been very interesting, the 11s, the 33s, I'll talk more about that. I think one of the hardest things uh, I found about doing this was how to define myself, moving from a salary earner to a YouTuber um, later in life. Don't say the words midlife crisis. Is all part of the awakening journey. Um, but yeah. Hello. Um, I became an accidental filmmaker, mainly due to mud flood, but I'd been watching a lot of YouTube and false flag videos um, for quite some years. So in some ways it felt natural, in some ways it felt like the weirdest thing I've ever done. Now this feels like the weirdest thing I've ever done. Uh, sorry, excuse me looking at notes. I have to, otherwise I won't remember what I'm supposed to say to you. 
Oh, other things I identify as empathic. I've carried that one for a long time. Still not sure what to do with it. Um, indigo child. Hopefully there are others of you out there that identify as indigos. And lately, one of 144,000. Is that what I am? I don't know. I'm still working me out. Let me know if you've got any insight. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Hmm. I'm going to use this current Mercury retrograde and eclipse season to announce a slight change of direction going forward. Um, I'm still formulating exactly how that's going to play out. Um, it's more of a personal change for me uh, and that in that I need to um, take my focus off the system a little bit and there are other things that I will want to talk about as we go forward I'm just going to read my personal goal moving forward is to use the skills that I have acquired in my personal journey to the best possible ends of the collective for the times that we are in. And that's keeping it as fluid as it can be because we're in the midst of a big year. Uh, so what will I be doing moving forward? I'll still be mud flooding. Um, just with slightly less focus on the who and the why. Um, it's become apparent that it's just a repeat of the attack of the benevolent societies as we're seeing repeated all over again right now. Yeah, so just basically devoting less time to the beast. But I still want to look at the architecture. I still want to look at the land. Uh Decomposing corpses masquerading as ancient land masses. I'm still all about that. Uh, I will revisit uh, Egypt. There's a few more things I'd like to talk about there. So I thought I would do an appendix, boom, boom, for Egypt. Um, add that to the list of things coming up. Oh, and guess where I went? Guess where I went? I tell you folks, it's nice to be out of the house. It's nice to be out in the countryside drinking juice. Homemade, of course, Danny. It's beautiful and green. The weather has let up for a while. New Norcia, here we come. This is where I'm supposed to remember to edit in the New Norcia video. Hope I don't forget. Let's have a character. Must be time for a character. I was born at the age of zero, like most people, in a town called Eastwood in New South Wales. I was the fourth member of a middle-class family living in the western suburbs of Sydney. My dad was a baker, a sole trader, a bowling club manager and later a publican. My mum worked mostly in retail after I joined the family and used to take me to the city for weekend lunches and outings. This is my grandfather. He worked in this building. Even my mother doesn't know what he did. All we know is he started there as a telegram boy straight out of school pretty much. He went to high night school. Uh, and he progressed his career as what? A postal clerk. I know nothing about his work life other than this building uh, and that this building has multiple levels below ground and is insured for gazillions of dollars. I have vivid memories of a child um, standing on pavement lights, grills, grates, um, passing windows in Parramatta and Sydney that were only as tall as myself but, but so much wider. 
it took 45 years for me to realize just how normal this way of building is and I realized that almost nothing that I believed about my reality was anything to do with the truth. In that 45 years I was 90% sleepwalking. I had a conventional middle class Catholic education. My average family parted ways before I hit my teens. School was never my favorite place. Catholicism gave me guilt and oppression. I worked in fast food, I worked in a bank. When there wasn't enough money to live on, I did both. Work was a means to collect the money to live, get a job, work hard. This is how you attain success in life. I married young, I dutifully vaccinated three beautiful children despite them being perfectly healthy and fully breastfed. I listened to the experts, I drank the Kool-Aid, I even drank the low sugar Kool-Aid so that we didn't get too much sugar in our diets. I voted, I followed guidelines and recommendations. I took all the bad advice, I questioned nothing. I worked in various jobs, here's the whole list, because that's what you did. More to the point, I played the roles. I did what I was capable of and subscribed to the edict that working hard was the only way to get ahead. And after all, it is the Australian way. I continued to tick the box life. At a gifted and talented seminar for one of my children, the word empathy came up. I remember lamenting at the time as I sat there in the audience crying. What a useless gift empathy was. What on earth was I ever going to do with that? Of course, it took me until parenthood to work out that it applied to me. It's at this point that you start to ask yourself, well, what was I thinking? More to the point, I just wasn't. I wasn't thinking. I was a bane. A question often asked of truth is, if, if you don't mind me using that word, is what woke you up? It was the food industry, it was medicine, it was health, more than anything, uh, a sick child, taking my own health into my own hands. For some of us, coronavirus is a logical and obvious conclusion to what's been going on for the last 100, 200 years. Studying health, it was very hard to ignore the corruption within the science that we had available to us. Toxicology report, six studies about glyphosate, three say glyphosate is carcinogenic, three say it's all tickety-boo. Check the acknowledgements, three studies also say with thanks to Dr. This and Dr. That from Monsanto. Science. Over 10 years or more, I've tipped over almost every single belief I ever had. Such is the one-way street that uh, becoming a conspiracy theorist is. You reach a point where you have to basically throw out everything you've ever known. Matt McKinley from Quantum of Conscience calls it the reality flush. When you've seen more than enough to just throw your entire reality away. I gave out flyers for the election for fluoride free wearing that shirt. I got abused by a dentist. I should be ashamed of myself. And then things went from the frying pan into the fire. It was that short course in Photoshop in 
about 2004 that did it. In about 2007, I was speaking to an artist at my local gallery and he asked me if I was on a spiritual quest. Until that point, I'd never even thought of such a concept. I'd walked away from Catholicism. I'd not found any other religion that I wanted to take up. Spirituality was a confused mess of, I've got no idea. Uh, maybe there's a God, maybe there's not. I should probably acknowledge one if there is one. Regardless, he was the first person that mentioned the Elevens. From there on, I began watching Elevens. I was start, saw Eleven Twenty Two just as I said that. Elevens were everywhere. Um, symbology, occult, it meant nothing to me until much, much later. But in my personal journey, Elevens, Twenty Twos, Thirty Threes, I have to tell you, I live in an ordinary numbered house opposite the number 33. I see the number 33 every day when I open my blinds. It was only last year that I realized, yes, and I'm also opposite nine. And the house on the other corner is 11. I've realized that my life is very much guided if I leave the house. I currently work a casual job in hell. I haven't been there for months. I'm loving it. I won't talk any more about it because I'm under contract. And I have an issue with the sound of my voice. I have an Australian accent. Hopefully I get over it. I also failed to mention I have currently two bosses who are my full-time managers. I have had up to four at one stage but two is sufficient. I recently bought myself a set of tarot cards to help me talk with spirit a little bit better because up until this point, it's all been a bit difficult. Other things you need to know, I'm not a top hat. And I'm an avid sky watcher, have been for about four or five years now. It's not been pretty to see. So that's me, me the character, me the person. We are the same, we've all been on a journey. I certainly never expected this truth journey to become a spiritual journey or become the same thing, one and the same. Moving on. Money. Money is something I'll be talking about going forward. Um, this was a direction that came from outside myself as well but it's been very much a personal journey that I've been on is in disengaging from the system wherever I could. Um, the biggest tie to the system for me that remained was money. Um, so this is something that I'll expand on as we go through, but it was it's basically my jump from salaried government employee to unsalaried but still government funded independent investigative journalist and I wouldn't have thought that was possible if I hadn't done it but that's all for another day ah moving forward Moving forward, I will try to uh, keep things as child-friendly as I can. Um, I'm mindful of that because I have friends with children and there's a lot of stuff that I wouldn't let my children watch if I had children today. So I will try and keep my language and my content um, suitable for older children. The channel remains not for children. Um, as a designation but I am mindful of it if I ever take the filter off you will be warned because it's not pretty my mother doesn't like my swearing I had written down here um, I try to keep my mental diet healthy but my mouth is not so pure Let's have another character. 
another character. Another character. I bet you weren't expecting that. Let's look at Mr. Robert Braden. We'll give Rob his five minutes of fame. A year ago, he made a video about me for making a video. Um, and my video was a little bit, well, understated. And it was basically just dedicated to mud flooders and fake history researchers. It was no big deal. Rob saw fit to make a video about it. And I think at the time actually netted me more subscribers. So thank you, Rob. Um, as always, when we seek to do others harm, it usually brings them good. So thanks again, Rob. What I do want to note that about Rob, interesting, he seems to have some experience and some awards, which is good. Good on you, Rob. Also from Western Sydney, as I am. Um, I had a quick look into these. I'll go through them. I did notice that this stub is written from the IMDB stub. Okay, and that's the only reference. Um, so look, we're looking at one, two, three, four acting credits there. Let's see what I found. So the Diamond of Jeru film, I ended up at IMDb again. And Rob's not listed as cast here, unless he's there under another name. Let's just check to be sure. B-R-A-I-D-E-N, yeah, no, no Braden. Okay, so he didn't actually get a credit there. Uh, Inspector Gadget 2, I went the same route, and where did we go next? Oh, there it is, Inspector Gadget, we can skip that. The Great Raid, again, trying to find actual listing of Rob. As a cast member. Great Raid, I had more. The Great Raid again. Raiden not found. Were you there, Rob? Or were you calling yourself something else? What's going on? In Her Skin, this was a interesting film. Um, Rob is credited here as being a detective. So he quite possibly actually did appear in this film. Uh, I will show you, ah, there's his IMDB page. Robert Braden by Anonymous. So did you write that yourself, Rob? Uh, this is about Rob's film that was meant to be coming out. It's been coming out for a long time. And Gore mentioned it. Hmm. Good quality. I'd, I'd say that's just a bad image. Hey Rob, your special effects would be better than that. Also, Hell Notes have a story on Rob's film coming out. I was interested to note though, there's Rob on Instagram. He looks very different there. Hmm. Ah, oh, thanks, Instagram. No, not today. Then. Mm, this is the In Her Skin trailer. I won't play it. It's there under Movie Trailers for All if you want to look at it. It has one of the most graphic strangulation scenes I've ever seen. It's really quite awful. Um, so this is the one where Rob is playing the detective. I really actually struggled to watch that. Um, 
if you want to go and watch it, watch it. But I'd advise not, especially if you got any empathic issues. It's kind of very hard to see. So the only other thing Rob acted in was the Sleepover Club, which is a full series. And I've been through all the credits there and can't find Rob again there. Let's just do the Raiden not found again. Where are you, Rob? What happened? You didn't even get a speaking line? Anyway, this is the Sleepover Club if you're looking for it. Lots of kids. It's a little bit concerning, but... So the thing I wanted to point out about Rob, not just the fact that he um, looks, acts and sounds like a shill, is the way um, he can't seem to edit. Why, Rob? Why do you do this? Why do you fake being bad at making videos when you've supposedly won awards? <laughs> and he's sitting next to a picture of love. Okay, Rob. Good on you, mate. Uh, I did have... This is Rob on LinkedIn. He works for Truant Productions, apparently. I couldn't find any information about them. Uh, what else have we got about Rob? This is Rob, who's not at all professional making videos, but here he is pictured with an $85,000 camera. So he knows how to operate a camera, or he's pretending he does. And the, the last thing I wanted to show you was, I went to Rob's website, and this has happened. When did this happen? Because a couple of days ago, I had, now I kind of wish I'd paid more attention to, I didn't take a screenshot of the second page, but just in the last couple of days, since I looked at all this again, um, Rob's website won't load. What happened Rob? Didn't you pay the bill mate? Rob, what have you done? Anyway, that's Rob. Hope you're okay, Rob. Moving on. Okay, so that's my one and only response to Rob at Atheist Dominion, if he's still out there. Um, don't feel the need that, uh, to defend me or the theory or anything in the comments here. We know what Rob is. Rob is a tool of the system. Um, feel free to just ignore it. If it comes, just ignore it. Don't give it energy and please do not let him upset you or aggravate you. System tools. Other platforms. I haven't considered uh, I did look at Patreon. I haven't considered any of the others. Library maybe, I don't know. If you are using something else successfully and you like it, please drop me a comment. Um, I'm not really sure what to do from here forward. I'm surprised I'm still here and grateful. Thank you, YouTube. I will continue to use YouTube for as long as we can. Hopefully things change before YouTube changes any further. Uh, housekeeping matters and setting boundaries. Ah, comments, feedback, etc. I will continue to monitor the comments as I do. Everything's been fairly good, fairly quiet. Thank you to everyone who has given me praise and encouragement. It's meant a hell of a lot. Um, feel free to share whatever you like. I will accept anything that's not abusive. Whatever you comment is up to you. Um, please, yes, let me know if I screwed up. Let me know if I've missed something important. Um, 
let me know if I'm leading people astray. Uh, otherwise, say what you like. It's not a free world. It's a free comment section. Interested to know if anyone's interested in the community section, if using that for um, comments and shares would be helpful. Um, if you've been on channels where that's in use before, let me know. Um, I notice some channels use it, not so much the truth channels though. I'm open to suggestions. Oh, and if the content isn't for you and you don't like it, you don't have to tell everybody. You can just move on as well. Um, I'm here for the people that enjoy what I do. If you don't enjoy it, don't be here. Okay, so I lost the bit of paper where I had what's coming up. I am still working on the asylums. Um, my bad. My apologies, everyone. I did say it would be done. Instead, I got a retaining wall and a house guest for a month. So still catching up on the asylums, but New Norcia is filmed. It's ready to go. All I have to do is edit that together and pop in some of the official BS. Um... Yeah, the uh, sweatshirt, the sweatshirt and the t-shirts is in progress. I'm not quite happy with the colour. I'm happy with the design, the matrix design. It does look better in the green. The pink is a little bit more mauve. Um, the hoodie is beautiful and thick. The t-shirt is quite good as well. Um... I wasn't able to get the hoodie in the medium and the large is actually way too big on me but it's in progress I'll let you know when I'm happy with it don't buy the mug the print is slightly too small for the mug um, and whilst it looks really good it's quite hard to read so the price has gone up to five hundred and fifty five dollars fives denoting change um, you'd be doing me a, ma a massive favor if you bought one but don't wait till I've fixed it Oh, and Sydney. There is a few things in Sydney that I wish to talk about um, and a few things that other people, because Sydney has been talked about quite a bit, um, but there's one building in particular that nobody's mentioning and I really want to talk about that one. Uh, and I found something in the Blue Mountains that's really quite interesting. So... I'm going to get what I can out when I can. I may have to go back to work. Hell called on Friday. I called them back today. I may have to go back to work. It's not a bad job. It'd be a shame if I lost it. So moving forward, look after yourselves, people. Um, don't let money get to you at the moment. I know a lot of people are struggling. I've done very well out of this COVID thing. Um, surprisingly, I had everything I needed. I had more money than I needed, which was the first time in a long time. Think about your local supply chains wherever you can, buying local. Um, it's difficult in the world we are in and with everything so controlled. But think about where your money is going, who it's going to, if you can disconnect from any of the big chains and bring your business local, do that. If you have an unsecured debt that is plaguing you, now might be a good time to look at if you can at least step aside for some time. If not for good, there's some good news coming out, I think. Can't be sure. Nobody can be sure of anything at the moment other than we don't live on a spinning ball. 
Don't let it get to you, people. We will prevail. So that's all from me today. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you've stuck with me this far, you are a real trooper. Thank you. Much love. Take care, folks. See you next time. See you in New Norcia. Bye. GoPro, stop recording.